Hello friends, welcome to Excelitics. Today we are going to start a new series of videos related to Excel interview questions. And we are going to cover text functions with regard to interview questions. So let us begin. Go to main sheet. And these are the list of tasks under text functions. And today we are going to cover task 1 which is count number of spaces. So click here. And this is the task 1. We need to count number of spaces in our input. So for this, firstly we need to identify the total length of the text which includes spaces as well. And then we need to identify the total length of the text without spaces. If we take the difference between these two values, that is our number of spaces. Let's start. I will write len function and select the text, close the bracket and simply copy this formula to other cells and you can see this is a total length which include space as well. Now I want to identify the total length without spaces. For that first I am going to substitute spaces with blank in my text. So I am going to use substitute function and the text is c7 comma the whole text will be space comma the new text will be blank so simply double quote for two times and the fourth argument is instance number as we want to replace in all instance so we need to ignore this argument backspace and close the bracket copy this formula to all other cells and you can see the result for the second case in original text we have space between excel and macros but our new text you can see there is no space between excel and macros now we need to calculate length of this resulted text len and select the text f7 close the bracket and drag the formula to all other cells. This is the length without spaces and you can see the difference for the second case. So the number of spaces count is 1. So now we are going to write a formula which gives a difference between these two columns. So total length including spaces minus total length without spaces and hit enter. So first case we don't have spaces and if I drag the formula to all other cells in second case we have one space and third we have two spaces and so on like that. So now we are going to club multiple formulas into one single cell. Firstly we will copy the substitute function and place in len function in place of f7 and hit enter and update for all other cells. Now I can remove this formula. So now copy this entire formula and go to D column and simply give a minus sign and paste this len formula and hit enter and copy this formula to all other cells and now we can remove this to additional formulas. So this is a count for number of spaces. So in this way you need to write multiple functions and club together and then we can get a dynamic formula where we can easily calculate the number of spaces in the given text. You can download this particular workbook from the link available in the description. We hope this video will help you in your day to day work. This video is created by Team Excelatics. Join Excelatics to excel in analytics.